Okay, we're live. This is Rick Swanson with Fox and Swan Arts, and we're here in the lab, aka the laundry room. And uh, last time I did a Facebook Live video, I was brewing coffee, and uh, fiddlehead coffee, in fact. And I have that here. It's cooled down to room temp now, and we've got some additions to make to it before we can develop film. So I'm going to show you a little bit of that process. I have my trusty double pan balance here. <clears throat> Some of you would remember this from your either high school or middle school uh, science lab days. Uh, I think they're all using electronic balances now, but I still have one of the old-fashioned double pan kind. I still like that. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to be adding two things to the coffee today. Uh, we need to add washing soda. You can still find this in the grocery store. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> and we need that as one additive to our coffee. And we also need uh, vitamin C powder. Um, you can use vitamin C tablets and crush them up, but there are other additives and fillers in the tablets that hold, help them stick together and they kind of gum up the process. So <clears throat> turns out uh, you can just order a sack of vitamin C powder. It's labeled as L-ascorbic acid powder, but I have that here. We'll be measuring that out as well. Both of those dissolve uh, pretty well in hot water, so I'm going to grab some here. That's pretty good. And the amount I need is preset on my balance, so I'm going to pour this out until the pans level out. There it goes, almost there. close enough. I'll get that in the hot water and give that a stir to start dissolving. So uh, washing soda was used as a chemical way to soften water back before we all had water softeners in our home. <clears throat> Uh, and it also has the property of uh, raising the pH of water, which is what we actually need here. Okay, next I'll measure out a similar quantity of vitamin C powder. there. Looks pretty good. <clears throat> the other cup here is to offset the weight of the cup into which I'm pouring the powder. And again, I'll hit that with some hot water. <clears throat> Now, uh, vitamin C is an acid, so this makes the water acidic, which is bad for our developing, uh, but the washing soda is going to more than compensate. And the two of these chemicals together make what's called a buffer, something that holds the pH at a steady level throughout our process. and. <clears throat> We need that because coffee is acidic in nature, and again, the acidity of the coffee inhibits the developing of the film. So these two additives work together to raise the pH of the coffee and allow the tannins in the coffee to do their developing. 
Okay, those need just a little longer to keep dissolving. <clears throat> I'm going to get the coffee ready, though. <clears throat> and so this coffee was brewed <clears throat> four tablespoons of grounds to make 12 cups of coffee. And I'm only going to pour out <clears throat> about three quarters of a liter of that. <clears throat> Let's see how these are doing now. It's important to get these to dissolve first. <clears throat> you don't want any crystals floating around in the coffee developer. They might stick to the film and then you'll get a, a fleck or a spot on your negative. Okay, I think that's just about there. And the vitamin C always dissolves quickly, but dissolves really well. <clears throat> now, my goal here is to bring this to a volume of about one liter. And so I'm going to first add the washing soda. And I'll get that in the coffee first. And I can slowly add the acid to that, vitamin C, get a few bubbles there, that's okay. <clears throat> and I just about nailed it right to one liter, I got lucky there. <clears throat> I would have added coffee to the rest to make it one liter. All right, so we have buffered coffee. Uh, that's at about pH 10 now. Uh, and in here is my uh, film canister. I've loaded some film onto a spool that looks like this. And <clears throat> the film winds onto the spool and you thread it on by ratcheting the spool like so. Then uh, also in there is this spindle, and <clears throat> the spindle goes inside the spool. And the spindle has some prongs that I can access with a uh, little rotator like this. And it's going to allow me to rotate and agitate the film inside the developing can so that I can uh, successfully develop that film. So that's all inside here already. <clears throat> You can hear it, hear the spindle, uh, the spool clanking around in there. <clears throat> now, it's not uh, a standard part of the film developing process, but it's something I like to do. Uh, I'm going to pre soak this film uh, just with plain water and give it uh, a moment to soften the emulsion in the film. This I do with cool or room temperature water. Okay, and we'll give that a moment and I'll do a few agitations here. So even though this can has a hole in it <clears throat> uh, and I can pour water and other chemicals in and out, it's light proof. So my film is not being exposed to the light, it's only being exposed to the chemicals that I'm pouring in there. I'm going to give this <clears throat> just another minute. check my collar make sure Jane if you're watching I've adjusted my collar today now I'm not going to do the full uh, film developing process in this video I'm just going to get the coffee in there and then we'll say goodbye I'll come back uh, at the conclusion of the process for the big reveal and we'll see uh, how I did if I got some images to develop uh, on the negative. Okay, that's enough for the pre-soak step. <clears throat> and that means in goes the coffee. And so now the fun begins. I use a process that um, is called stand developing. 
<clears throat> in conventional film developing, you're agitating the spool in the can every minute. And I use a technique that allows the film to just stand in the developer uh, without frequent agitation. They call it stand developing. And over a course of about 35 minutes, I'm only going to um, agitate this uh, about five times. Okay, we're on our way. We'll see what happens in a few minutes. I'm going to check out for now. Uh, tune in uh, again, and we'll see if we got some images on this film. Talk to you soon.